All right, so we'll begin this lesson with Psalm 124. It says, here's what Israel should say. Suppose the Lord had not been on our side. Suppose the Lord had not been on our side when our enemies attacked us. Suppose he had not been on our side when their burning anger blazed out against us. Then they would have swallowed us alive. They would have been like a flood that drowned us. They would have swept over us like a rushing river. They would have washed us away like a swollen stream. Give praise to the Lord. He has not let our enemies chew us up. We have escaped like a bird from a hunter's trap. The trap has been broken and we have escaped. Our help comes from the Lord. He is the maker of heaven and earth. That's Psalm 1, 24. And now our story, Go Little Bird. Tom pounded the last nail in the bird trap he was building, then took it to the backyard to set it. He tilted the cage upward on its end and propped a stick under the raised end. Next, he scattered breadcrumbs, trailing them inside the cage. Finally, he unraveled a string attached to the stick and hid behind a bush, string in hand. There, he muttered quietly to himself, hope some dumb bird falls for my trap. Tom waited, almost motionless, for an unsuspecting hungry bird. This project has kept his mind off a big problem he was having. But now, while watching, waiting, he began to worry once more. Swimming lessons again this afternoon, he thought. All the other kids already swim, but I j just stiffen up. What if I can't learn to swim? Then Tom remembered something he'd heard on a children's radio program the day before. Trust God for help. He had, had been the theme of the lesson. That's something I haven't done, he thought. Tom looked up and saw a little bird pecking at the breadcrumbs. Following the crumbs right into the trap, Tom yanked on the string and the cage crashed down, trapping the bird inside. I got one, Tom yelled, running to get a closer look. The frightened little bird fluttered its wings wildly, trying to get free. Tom gazed at the unhappy bird for a few minutes and then slowly lifted the cage while the bird hopped to freedom. Go, little bird he said as the bird soared into the sky. I'm bigger and more powerful than you are, so I can help you escape this cage, and God is bigger and more powerful than I am, so he can help me with my problem. Right then and there, Tom prayed that God would help him relax in the water. He knew things would be better at swimming lessons that afternoon.